Welcome to Learn Smart Coding, the ultimate destination for mastering cutting edge tech skills. From front end framework to the back end system, our video covers it all. With real time demos and in depth tutorials, we will teach you how to code like a pro. Subscribe now and start your journey to becoming a smart coder. Have you ever struggled with debugging your .NET Core applications? In this video, I'll show you a simple solution to ensure your app runs smoothly and efficiently using App Insights. Stick around until the end to learn how you can easily configure this powerful tool for your own projects. So I have already deployed my web application in the Azure app service and this is what it is. And if I open this, if I go to the Swagger URL, you know, it will open up, but there is no logs recorded, right? So, so you don't have any idea how to do it. So there is something called application insights. So if you have not configured this when you build an app service, it's okay. You can come here, click on it and, you know, select the defaults. And it's gonna, uh, you know, allow you to create an application insights for this website. Okay. And then the name also will be similar to the website name. You can do this, apply this, and then, you know, it gets deployed. And once it is ready, you can click on go to resource. And if you go to the resource, this is what uh, the application insights will look. So it will give you the name of the application insights. It will give you the instrumentation key and others, other things. You can also go to the application insights by the search panel and you can create from here. When you do it from here, you can name whatever you wanted to name, but ideally they create for each environment in organization. Okay. So now let's focus on only one uh, part. Let's assume only for production purpose. Okay. So once you're done this, if you go here, you can see uh, the instrumentation key over uh, here on the overview blade and there's something called connection sting also okay so only those two are important thing now come back to the application under the development.json you will have a configuration called application insights and then a connection sting just copy paste the connection sting and there's an instrumentation key you can copy the instrumentation key and you can place it here either you use application insights or the instrumentation key i mean the connection sting or the instrumentation key only one is sufficient i'm just giving you uh the reason why i'm using connection stingers if i run this application from my local since uh, the connection string is present it will run it and then you need to install this package application sets.asp.net code package and so two steps and then the last final step is come to the uh, application main program and using the builder door service just add the add application insights telemetric that's it only three piece of code that you need uh, in order for you to do this and I'm going to publish this and show you how this looks. Okay. It's getting published and um, you can see, you know, the timelines, uh, we're going to show the couple of endpoints we're going to kick in and then I'll show you how it looks. So let's run this quickly. It's going to hit this endpoint and then I'm going to just, you know, randomly hitting a couple of endpoints just to generate the logs. Okay. Because it's now tied up with the connection string. So because we deployed it, anything that you do on this website gets recorded here. So it's take, uh, you know, little time to, uh, you know, get this locks here. Let's wait for a few more seconds. And, uh, so this is one part that I was mentioning. Let's copy paste in the production JSON because when we deployed the production is what will run. So we forgot it. That's why it was not working. Now we have it in the production configuration also. And now if I just run a couple of requests, and if I go here, see, I can start saying this. So basically the development is to run it from the local and the production is for the after deployment. Ideally in organization for each environment, there'll be a different app inside so that every environment logs their own stuff in the specific application insights. Okay. So you can drill down by going inside each of the log. You can uh, click on the samples. You can go to a specific sample. You can get to see the 200, the different error messages, you know, a lot of things. And uh, once you have configured this, you have a lot of other features in the application insights itself. To your left side, you can see, um, you know, all the settings and other stuff. You can see the uh, right side based on what you choose. You can, you can perform the exceptions. You can read what kind of exceptions, the detailed crawl stack, everything is visible, right? So this will give us an idea of uh, what went wrong for a particular request and then you know you can set up some alerts if something goes wrong right so all those things you can do so uh, each and every single uh, calls will get recorded here and you can see your response time of the apis and other stuff so let me run this from the local and then this time i'm going to hit the different endpoints okay just to prove you that even when you run it from your local this is going to work okay so that's our idea so from our local i'm running I'm running at different endpoints. So if I come here, 
the endpoints which I ran, I know that will fail. That's okay because if you can go to the failure state and you can see, see Azure storage download blocks which fail, which is expected to fail. And you can see, click on the finder error. You can go to the sample. You can see the complete stack trace. So all these informations are recorded nicely. It will help you to speed up to find out what went wrong, all those stuff. And uh, what else you can do is, uh, basically you can see all these things. Now, right now we are logging into the same app inside. So whether you deployed or you're running from local, everything is show up uh, on the same page. But uh, as I said, there will be different, different app insights. Now you can go to your left side, select some, you know, alerts. If there is an error, you know, send me an email, put the log to some place, all those things you can do it. So under monitoring, you have different options, alerts, logs, diagnostics, test settings, uh, you know, all those things have already covered in different videos. So feel free to go and explore it. But this video is mainly to set up the app insights in the uh, Azure app service and how to debug from your local as well as after to deploy, how to look into it. So those are the details of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!